All right, guys, so here we are. So I bent, bent, bent straight down. I went ahead and cut a, uh, this is the, um, oh, I'm trying to remember what size this one is. This is the um, 5 16 excuse me, 5 16 tube. Uh, of course, the uh, the bigger one's gonna go on top, uh, or the, uh, the smaller one goes on the bottom, bigger one goes on top, because the smaller one slides right over here and goes right there. And for me to double check things, I, I want to be able to slide this on there, look down the tube, and see the, the little spot right there. So that's pretty close. I can bend that in a little ways. So you don't want it too far off because then that landing gear will bind and it won't bounce at all. So remember, this isn't functioning. This is just something for looks, uh, and that joins right there. Your real functioning parts is this plus where it joins here and that it can be tightened so you have more prop clearance and boy this puppy's going to need a lot of prop, prop clearance it's going to at least probably take a 14 uh, I think it's going to be a 1410 but of course that's a lot of pitch so I, I hope to go with a 16.8 or something but that is lots of prop so I'll need to keep this landing gear up high um, anyway so there it is so now all I have to do is bind this and uh, that part is all done. So this is probably the toughest uh, thing to do with the bending. The mast probably wasn't even that tough. I haven't done the mast yet on this one, but I just don't remember it being this that difficult. So, but this is a very sharp bend, and you got to get that angle just right. So, all right. Well, guys, I hope this helps. I am by no means the professional <laughs> here, but. Uh, I do think this one turned out really well, and uh, if you want to do an, an easy landing gear to make it look scale, uh, this is the route to go. So I know uh, Bone Swapped, it was a Bone Swapper Swamped is uh, working on a scale, another scale version of the landing gear, which I think it's going to be pretty sweet, um, all functioning out here. So he actually actually he has to redesign this in order to take that um, that blunt there but I look forward to seeing that Mike that'll be pretty cool so but anyway this is the way I do it guys feel free to do it and uh, enjoy thanks alright guys I went ahead and soldered this and the next thing I'm working on is the uh, strut so this is the mock strut like a dummy strut I guess you could call it so what I do is I take that 12 inch uh, brass tubing and I cut it into three pieces. Uh, I do not use the middle piece. I'll use that middle piece probably for the mast. But I use one end and the other end. And the reason why I do that is because one end is going to be nice and uncharred and the other one's going to be charred for my Dremel tool. This is the part I'll squeeze or I'll attach. Uh, this is the smaller one so actually this is the part that attaches. And uh, sorry, let me show you that again. And then the other one is what I squeeze. So I'm going to go down just a half an inch. I squeeze it. Uh, then I go ahead and drill a uh, hole in there. I just do something that a uh, 256 screw will fit in. So I did a, uh, I was just taking a look here, a 332nd hole in there. So because what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze it all the way down and then I'm going to squeeze it on the side with my vise and it's going to open it up. And the reason why I want that is because I want this to slide over this uh, steel strap. Now these, of course, you can get at uh, any hobby store. These are steel landing gear straps, same ones I use over here. And uh, they work great for this. So now all I do is I slide this down. I'm going to get a small screw. And notice what I do here, guys, is I round this on both sides because this is actually going when it bounces up and down it actually pivots a little bit back and forth so that's going to be there uh, remember this is a blind nut nut on the other side of this but that goes there and the other tube goes in there so when this is all together this stays part of the wing and the landing gear comes off and this comes off with that this is just uh, simply shoe gooed to this rod now, what I do love about this whole thing that we kind of created here 
is I don't do any cutting. I leave the whole wire on there because I hate cutting this thick wire and if I can avoid it, I will. So, um, so anyway, so there's how much overlap. I have one inch of overlap and that allows it to stay in one spot and it will bounce. That is, you'd have to really force this apart to get it to separate. I know a bunch of guys are saying, well, how about if that separates? I mean, I'll try to force it right now and I'll tuck it in there just so you can see how it works. So now this would be shoe good. This is staying there and this would bounce up and down inside that tube. And see how this pivots back and forth in there? So it's kind of just loosely in there. After you shoe goo that in there, you have to rough this up. We you shoot that in there, that thing will stay solid. And here we have it. So, sorry, I thought I was done videotaping, and I'm not. So, anyway, there it is. It's, there's a lock nut on that side. That's fed through. That screw is a little bit too big, so I'll knock it off later. Uh, that goes down. And all these metal to metal, of course, is all Loctite. This goes down. Here's the 3 8 Here's the 5 16 inside there. It goes down to that piece of wire that goes up. That wire is about this high. This is all shoe gooed in there. And that shoe goo is some powerful stuff because um, I've had nitro running on mine for, boy, I think uh, the other PCA2s had about, oh, 15 flights. And uh, all this paint is wearing off. Well, I can just show you. The paint is wearing off, but the shoe goo still holds. I mean, it's like JB Weld. Uh, you could also use JB Weld. Uh, the only reason why I went with shoe goo is because it was flexible, but you can see it right there, and it's just rock solid. But, uh, but that holds it pretty good, and that allows that to spring up and down. So uh, later on, I'll attach this. I'll, I make this out of just a half-inch... Balsa, I believe it is. It's on the plans, and uh, that gets attached on there, and then monocoat over the whole thing. I painted it here, but it just doesn't stay, so I think next time I'll just leave it plain. All right, guys. All right, now I am signing off. Nothing more for me to say. <laughs> okay. See you guys. Bye.